Welcome to Dude RV. Hey, I really appreciate you stopping by. And of course, say it with me now, you got here just in time. That's right, just in time for another campground experiential video. As you saw up there, we're on Lake Travis. We're at Arkansas Bend Campground. This is actually a co-op, cooperative, it's a partnership. That's what I'm looking for. That's the word, a partnership with the Lower Colorado River Authority in Travis County. I, I'm liking, I'm really liking what I see. Let's check it out. We're, I'm for, I already forgot what side I'm in. Hold on. You get out here by the road so I can see the post. Uh, we're in number 18. So we're in site number 18 here at Arkansas Bend. Check this out. This is a huge site. And it's not one of the bigger ones. But one of the bigger ones next to us. Decomposed granite with a limestone border. Super level. This is a 50 amp, 3050 in water. We're just a short walk from the facilities. I highly recommend you use a pressure regulator when you, if, if and when you connect to that. Now, I, I was of the impression, and I don't know where I got that idea, but I thought this was full connection, uh, probably partially because of the price. It's $40 a night for the site. But it is not full connection. But look at the patio. <laughs> what do you think about this site, you Yappy? Know, you know, it's really clean and it's it's nice and flat and just it's pretty. The park's pretty. We've we've been really impressed since just you know we've only been here about 15 minutes, but we really like it. Brand new smoker box. Big wooden picnic table. Oh, 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 we go camping style. We got us a double hook. Man. That's a Park Street Campsite Products Pilot Rock. They don't they don't tell us whether it's a trash hanger or a lantern hanger. Anyway, we've got a fire ring. There is no burn band, so if we can track down some firewood, we can have a fire. We're only gonna be here for one night. We had a change in itinerary. We were supposed to be here too. This is site number 17. So if you have a really big coach, I mean, you could put a 40 footer in here, no problem. You come right in that gate and right on in here. Look at how big this thing is. I'm amazed. Looks like they're expanding. So we're gonna have to listen to some big trucks coming in, but it looks like they're building out another camping loop. As long as, long as they're not running that at night, I'll be all right. All right, let me deploy some wheels and we shall go see some stuff. Arkansas Bend is a relatively, well, it's been recently renovated. Everything looks and feels fresh. This is the facilities. Now, all of, it's not one big open bay kind of restroom. They're all family restrooms. And you have, which, the facilities. Now we do have timer. So you're not gonna waste water. They have six facilities, six of these. This is one block of four, and then there's another with two. All right, now that we've seen the potty stuff, let's go see some other stuff. Arkansas Bend stuff. I gave you bad information. 
there's another block of four. So that's ten. Ten, I say, ten places to do your business. And it looks like, oh, hold on, let me let me mount up and we'll we'll go over here and check this out. So they are, they have expanded. These are brand new campsites. That one's right next to the bathroom. These are on the edge. Looks like it's gonna be a way up, quite a ways down to the water. I think if, 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 I, if I had the option, I think this is site number 22. Let me verify. It's 20. <laughs> it's not as easy to do this on the bike as it is on the scooter. Site number 23. There is no shade, but you don't have any neighbors unless they turn that into tent camping, which I don't think that's going to happen. Anyway, let's go see some more stuff. You don't really appreciate how dry it's been until you come to a lake like Lake Travis and <laughs> And you see for yourself how low the lake is. If you look on the other bank over there, you'll see that, that expanse of white. About halfway down, you can see that's where the water line should be. This actually should have water up to this cliff edge. I'll see if I can get down there without having to climb the limestone steps anyway let's go find some more stuff i i'm i'm really really impressed with with the day use area i'm seeing here look at this beautiful picnic area with such a fantastic view i just wish they'd have put the rv loop down here if you have kids watching you might want to have them go in the other room or cloak cover their eyes because if they see this, it's all over you. You'll have to come. All right, I'll give you a minute. <laughs> Hit pause. Okay, now, if you got little ones traveling with you, they're gonna be excited. Man, I'm excited. I'm, I'm ready to go play on this. Look at this play structure. How cool is that? It's so soft to walk on. It's like sponge, like a sponge. It's a ropes course. I'd hurt myself trying to climb on. <laughs> That's so cool. Got a hammock. Next, I have life jackets in a lot in a cabinet over there. Not only do they have trash cans, but they have recycle bins. Right there, side by side. And a cool slide. It's not one of those that will burn you because it's hot metal. And there's even the baby play structure. Wow. This is so, so beautiful. All right. Let's go see what else we can find. Let's go see some more. Arkansas Bend stuff. Since I've never been here before, I'm, I'm not exactly sure where the lake level should be. But it looks like, at least right here, if not up to here. So if you're familiar with this park, could you give us, give us some indication of how high the water should be here? Do, do you normally have to hike way out there to get in the water? So you can see 
right over here that's there's a pathway that's the camping loop the rv loop That's a deep lake. All right. Let's go see, let's see if we can find some more stuff. I almost made it down to the water. <laughs> almost made it down to the water. Water's crystal clear. Look out. I don't know if you can see on the camera how clear that water is. But man, is it clear. Yeah, my boat ramp fans are not going to be happy. I'm going to break your heart. And the reason is, is because... This is the end of the boat ramp. <laughs> That's a boat ramp right there. And this is actually looks like a new section from right there where that ridge is. Right, right up there at white where the change in color happens. So technically, I should be about... 50 feet underwater, maybe a hundred feet underwater. Anyway, I'm gonna see if we can, I can get us out here to get a upward look. Let's go see some more stuff. I wasn't sure if it was going to be possible, but I, I it was, I made it. I made it all the way down here. It's a rough ride. And if it wasn't for that, I would not have been able to do that because I, I could not have walked that. Not today. Man. Smells like dead fish down here. It's interesting. I didn't see it from the other side, but there are actually floating boathouses on the other side there it's just because everything you know, there's so much haze but they look like some of them look like they're actually out of the water which is is not surprising and then there's a, a big marina little shells Zebra mussels are an invasive species that are really playing havoc with water supply and power production. Anyway, don't quote me on this, but it looks like you might be able to rent a kayak. I guess it, you'd have to, oh, a kayak and canoes. So you definitely have to have somebody come down here and unlock so that you could access it. And then there's a kayak launch. This is the closest, the closest thing to a beach that I have yet to see. The water is just crystal clear, man. All right. That's the day use area up where those trees are. That's a pretty good haul. <laughs> All right. Let's go find some more stuff. This is interesting. I saw this on Google Earth. I think the scooter would be better suited to do that. But I'm gonna give it a try.
to reach the bottom of the ramp. And it looks like they've got this set up so that if the water level rises and falls, they can take out the ramps and move the courtesy dock, maybe? I don't know. Let's walk down here and see what we have. I, I, I don't think we're going to be able to walk onto the courtesy dock. Uh, I, I, I know I'm not going to be able to walk onto the courtesy dock. <laughs> <laughs> well, for two reasons one I can neither fly nor walk on water and that's a long way down that's at least 75 feet down from where I'm standing and and <laughs> I think this this is the the most desperately low lake that I have visited in Texas on this channel maybe ever you can see they made several extensions to the boat ramp and they finally just gave up because But I bet that'd be some good fishing down there in that super clear water. All right, I have to go back up. Pray for me. So I have been just tooling around on the Vitubia, the Valkyrie. And I, I just went off on this little trail. It looked like a gator trail, you know, the gator, the little utility vehicle. And I've noticed that there are a number of these, I guess they're campsites, tent sites, primitive sites. Maybe they're just day use. The picnic table stuck back out here in the, in the pine, or not the pine, in the cedar breaks. And if the lake was at pool, you would have almost private access. There's several of them along here. That's pretty cool. If you're, you're planning a trip out here in the RV loop, now I don't know about here in the day use area, but in the RV loop, there is a public Wi-Fi nexus. Just make sure you're using a VPN and uh, protecting yourself. We've got four four bars of Verizon, five bars of Verizon, and of course Starlink has got a perfect shot of the sky in our campsite. I want to watch where I'm walking. It's kind of rough down here. All right, I'm gonna hop back on the bike, go back to playing. They have some hiking trails here. I'm at the area designated as a trailhead with a really nice shade structure and a restroom, a water fountain. But that intrigues me because that looks like that may be an ADA accessible trail. So we're going to see if we can do a little bike ride. We're going to do a 360 video. When you're hiking here in the Texas Hill Country, you want to make sure you're paying attention to where you're putting your foot because this is rattlesnake territory you might encounter some wild pigs but your number one danger number one danger is the sun the heat rattlesnakes are pretty uncommon or rattlesnake bites that's what I'll being bitten by a rattlesnake is it is, is not as common as people getting heat stroke. I drink lots of water. When it's hot and humid like it is today, and you're doing this kind of physical activity, you can lose, you can sweat out up to a liter of water. A liter of water in about an hour. Well, at least I do. I, I 
I don't know about you, but when I start sweating, it just starts a flowing. You got a chug to keep up. You're not really sweating out today's water either. You're sweating out yesterday's. So you've got to hydrate ahead. And that was the Dundee Loop. Ooh, it's muggy here in the cedar breaks of Lake Travis. I've never been to Lake Travis before. Don't know much about it. So I was asking the park staff questions and they couldn't answer my questions. So I turned to my questions to Google and Google has given me the answer. So currently Lake Travis is at 44%, less than half. The average depth when full Lake Travis, the average depth is 65 feet, but there is an area that must be a big canyon or something because when it's full, it's about 210 feet in that particular area. So now we know we're, we're below halfway. So I guess the current depth is somewhere around 25 feet average out here where i'm looking uh, it's probably 20 feet so I'm, I'm sitting here that's the camping loop we were just down looking at where the irrigation water is being brought up that's the day use area on the other side of those trees So now you know, Lake Travis is, is a really deep lake, but just not right now. It's kind of deep right now. Good morning from Arkansas Bend. Except for the air conditioner, it's pretty dang quiet here. There's only three campers in this campground in June. That's just mind blowing. This is one of the nicest campgrounds that we've been to this year. If not ever, as far as the camp camping goes, the, the sights. Getting here, it's a, it's, an ex, it's a thrilling drive. It's like you, 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 you realize uh, why they call it the Texas Hill Country as you're driving here. Lots of twisting and winding. Oh yeah, and there's a lot of traffic too because this is right smack dab in the middle of suburbia. Uh, but you wouldn't know it because it's so quiet here except for the construction stuff that's been going on. Whatever they're doing over there during the day, there's. During the day, there's lots of construction noise. Not overwhelming, though. We had deer in the campsite this morning. I think this is a, a, a good destination because it, it is a little labor intensive to get here. It, it's, if it's gonna be a waypoint stop for you, Probably ought to be a couple days. It's rather, it, it's it's on the high side for for fees. $40 for a electric site. Electric water only site is, is kind of steep in, in my personal opinion. If you're looking for a, a nice quiet campsite in the vicinity of Austin, this one is one you might want to consider. We are done here. We are going to pack it up and head east. We're gonna go check out our land. We're gonna go spend a couple nights at Tranquility Base. And if you don't know what that is, we have another channel where we do less RV related stuff. It's the, the RV Homestead Texas. We've bought 10 acres out in East Texas and we're turning that into our RV homestead and then we're gonna sell the 
the suburban house we have and go full time in the RV barn. Well, basically, we're building. We're gonna create. We're gonna. We're gonna build a metal shop that the RV will park in, and we will add living quarters to that at some point. So the link will be in the description below for the RV Homestead Texas. I have a lot of Dutch oven videos over there. Dutch oven cooking. That's become a something I have a, a keen interest in. If you've enjoyed this kind of content, remember to hit the subscribe button. Oh, and remember to hit that bell as well. I create these kind, this type of content on a regular basis. I have the largest library of videos, campground videos for the state of Texas over at dudervy.com. If you're looking for a place to camp in Texas that's not a private campground, I got a map. You can figure out where you wanna go and you click a balloon. You click the balloon, it opens up the YouTube videos for that destination. That is just a resource that I have created for my Texas camping friend, even if you're not from Texas, if, if you wanna camp in Texas. It's all about you that those videos are for you please take advantage of that if you haven't already i'd be most honored if you'd consider clicking on the subscribe button that way i can keep doing what i'm doing and for those of you who have been following along <laughs> thank you so much i toast you i toast you with my jim's sweet love coffee that's why I get to do what I do. Thank you for that. And for my patrons, for our patrons, we are most grateful for your generosity. You guys rock. All right, y'all come back now, you hear?